Welcome everyone on this fourth Sunday of Advent. It's almost Christmas and we're back in our sanctuary. Thank you so much for coming out again. <laughs> this is wonderful. And this is our last Sunday with Tari. Um, so please use the opportunity to, you know, hang out with her afterwards, um, tell her how great she is, um, tell her what you wish her for her future, all of the good stuff. And we'll have a tiny blessing of Tori just at the end before the general blessing. We'll just bless Tori um, for her for the way um, in her ministry. And we have an acolyte today. Um, so we're, you know, slowly, slowly, um, yeah, getting back into shape, I guess, <laughs> and filling all the roles. So thank you so much. Oh, and one last thing, Keith. Keith um, brought his Advent wreath. He made it with the help of Melinda uh, during our Advent wreath workshop. And so he was kind enough to bring it and for us to admire it and look at it during this worship service. So thank you so much, Keith. And let's light the candles. We come to know you, Holy One, as wisdom incarnate, as flickering flame, as spirit of life, as hope, peace, joy, and love, and fleshed. You come to us as the stranger and the strange. Often we do not recognize you. Often we turn away from your gifts and your demands. Yet you come to us in wilderness, in the impossible made possible, in silence and singing and sighs too deep for words. You bore dominance, mastery, fear and control. You are made known to us in vulnerability and courage and divesting from the powers of empire. We come to you this advent in me with, with longing, longing in pain, pain captive to fear, desiring, desiring a more just world, a more livable, livable life for all of us. For the, the earth, earth, for every, every living thing caught and held in this inescapable network of mutual interdependence, we call this one wild and precious life. We long for you. We long for healing. We long for liberation. We long for different systems and patterns of relating. And so this Advent, we pause, we breathe, we pray. We dig deep, we reach out, we rise up, we remember, we vision. We sit with the pain, we stay with the trouble, we wait, expectant. We light candles, we labor. We open to you and to one another and to the sacred mystery that is Emmanuel, God with us, love incarnate, divinity and flesh. Salvation to Israel, God fulfills the promise. Light two candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. He shall feed the flock like a shepherd, gently guide them home. Light three candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. Lift your heads and lift high the gateway for the King of glory. Light 
for candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light vanish darkness. He is coming, tell the glad tidings. Let your lights be shining. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every notion we have about power, success, wealth, and achievement, God takes and tosses out the window. More importantly, God comes to us to upset our idea that we must save ourselves. In Jesus, God comes to us, removing our sin, our failures, our expectations, so we might have life. Please join me as we pray together saying, we confess, confess we are not, not the people, people you hope us to be, Advent, Advent God. God. The very ones, ones you favor, favor, all too often we ignore them, or worse, fill them with ridicule. ridicule. The ones Once you knock off their pedestals, we you continue to admire them, seeking to emulate their ways, the drumbeat for more and more. We give in to the rhythm so easily, we risk, risk being, being sent, sent away empty. empty. Mighty God, who comes, who comes in the, in the weakness, weakness of a baby, look, look with grace upon us so we might see your love shining down. down. We, we could, could live, live secure in your, your hope. We, we could, could be the ones of peace for all. your world. We, we could, could learn to do your will. will. If, if we but welcome, welcome Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord and Savior, Savior into our, our hearts, and into our, our lives. lives. 
God passes the heirloom of grace down from generation to generation, always loving, always forgiving, always calling us to new life. As we open our hearts to God, we are filled with the joy that was sung at the birth, with the hope that walked among us, with the grace that is always with us. Thanks be to God, we are forgiven. Amen. Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come with your abundant grace. Free us from the sin that binds us that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. By the Lord, my spirit sings of God, my Savior. For he has looked with love and favor on his lowly servant. From this day all will call me blessed. From now through all the coming ages, the Lord has done great things for me and holy. Father, for the Lord, and those who serve one another, and with his strength he has scattered all the proud in their conceit. He called the mighty from the thrones, and he has lifted up the lowly. Fills the hungry with good things while others turn away. Just as it was, it is today, and it shall last through all tomorrows. And so my soul magnifies the Lord, praise God forever. The words of Micah from chapter 5. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are the one of the little clans of Judah, for you shall come forth for me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth then the rest of the kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. Word of God, word of life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, 
the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has looked with favor on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he has made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And now we are going to hear or to watch something that I feel like we can call a tradition already because when you do something a second time around the same time of the year, I think that's a tradition, right? So today we're gonna watch our annual traditional Christmas pageant that Pastor Barbara produced with um, actors from Christ the King and Holy Redeemer. 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 And, and I'm sure it's, oh, I already know it's just as fun as last year's. And so I hope you enjoy it. And, you know, afterwards you're welcome to give her a hand. I'll report on, on that later. <laughs> I know she put a lot of work in this. And so I'm very thankful for her to um, give it to us as well. So please enjoy. And um, I'm sure you'll recognize who is staring in this pageant from our congregation. <laughs> so enjoy. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. Oh, from the west of my baby blessed could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all the tears, let the dawn draws us near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls of power to the fortress tower, as a worm they'll be left tossed on. Let the king by way for your justice test every rider and from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more for the food they can never earn. There's a table spread every month to be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws need, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember the world we passed. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. 
This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the speed and rod can be crushed by God who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Okay, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In this season of watching and waiting, let us pray for all people and places that yearn for God's presence. Nurturing God, you give us life and care for our every need. Use the church's gifts and ministries for your service, bringing your word to all who seek your transforming grace. Creator God, you proclaim your boundless love for all that you have made. Make us servants of your creation and bring forth abundant life. Righteous God, you bring down the mighty and lift up the lowly. Strengthen those who seek justice. Bless the work of community organizers activists, journalists, and all who call our attention to imbalances of power. Compassionate God, you proclaim your love and mercy. Show your loving kindness to teen parents and those who are pregnant. Comfort any struggling with infertility and those who await test results are in treatment and hospice care and others in need. Gracious God, you fill the hungry with good things. Guide us to share your bounty with those who hunger or live in poverty. Faithful God, you stir up the hearts of those who love you. We'll give you thanks for those who, like Mary, were courageous in their witness. Give us such courage until that day when you fulfill all things. For whom else and what else do we pray? At this time, you may bring your prayers to us silently or aloud. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Haku. Thanks for all you are, you do, and you give to help our congregation thrive and the world become a better place. Let us pray. Because of you, abundant God, we have blessings to offer to others. May you use our gifts to restore hope to the despairing, to feed the hungry, and to fill the empty hearts of the lonely. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Wherever and whoever you are, communion with God is coming to you. Prepare to welcome your guest. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And also so with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. With patience and with gentleness, you entered the emptiness of chaos, God of wonder and awe, spreading the rich soil of creation from which sprang flowers and fields, vegetables and trees, our ancestors in life. You looked with favor upon them, doing wondrous things for them, but they wandered far from you, losing themselves in the maze of thoughts crafted by temptation and death. You would not give up on them, time after time sending prophets with words of welcome and hope, but they could not do your will. So you sent Christ into the world filled with the Holy Spirit, exclaiming with the living cry of our salvation for all time. With all those who trusted in what was unseen and those who believed the best would come, we join our voices in singing your Advent praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, And now, I invite you all to say the words of institution together with me so that they can be heard and said everywhere in the homes where you are joining us from on Zoom and that we may fill this space with our words that are our faith. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus called God his Father, so do we. Please pray in the language and translation of your heart. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours 
forever now and forever. forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. God's gift for God's people. The body of Christ given for you. the blood of Christ shed for you. Christmas is coming, the bells are ringing, hope comes alive as music fills the air. Say Christmas is for children, I believe it's true. Can you hear the season calling to the child inside of you? Awaken from your slumber, come see with younger eyes. Be taken by the wonder that took the whole world by surprise. Christmas is coming, the bells are ringing. Hope comes alive as music fills the air. I hear the drumming, it won't be long now. Christmas is coming, will you be there? Christmas is coming, will you be there? They're dressing up the city in a brightly lighted gown. They're singing in the streets whenever Christmas comes to town. So let the Spirit find you wherever you have been and bring you to the child that makes us children again. Christmas is coming, the bells are ringing, hope comes alive as music fills the air. I hear the drumming, it won't be long now. Christmas is coming, will you be there? Christmas is coming, will you be there? Prepare ye the way for God's own baby boy born to mend our broken things and to heal the world with joy he will heal the world with joy I don't want you to miss it and know I have before like the innkeeper who missed the wonder right outside his door so open up your heart as Christmas passes through just in time to wake the child asleep inside of you Christmas is coming the world's are ringing hope comes alive as music fills the air I hear the drumming it won't be long now Christmas is coming will you be there Christmas is coming will you be there oh, 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 oh. God we give you thanks for this meal that nourishes us body and soul may it sustain us as we confront evil that keeps us from living the lives you intended for us until every life can be lived abundantly be our guide be our hope be our comforter amen right and as i promised you all we'll do a two-part blessing okay we'll have one for tori so tori 
please join me here. Usually without COVID, I would ask you all to come and lay hands on Tori. We can't do this. So I ask you to stand up. And um, I mean, I don't know what your like position to bless people is, but it could be something like this. It could be like a prayerful, whatever you feel like doing that the, you know, we believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is able to um, manage bigger distances than this little bit. So I'm sure you can feel the blessing of us all. And is it okay for me to put my hands on your shoulders on hands? Okay. So let's bless Tori on her path. God, we ask you for your abundant love and blessing for Tori to watch her as she continues her path toward ministry with PLTS to have the Holy Spirit dance around her, especially in moments of doubt. And to have, please send your word to Tari, let her listen to your word, to the joy that proclaiming your word can bring and will bring, and guide her where you, you need her the most in your world, and in your mission to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to everybody. God, all of this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, may God strengthen you and fulfill your dreams. May Christ Jesus be the rising sun that lightens your days. May the Holy Spirit speak to you and through you with words of grace and peace. Amen. All earth is hopeful comes at last, furrows lie open for God to rest and bless. This is the power of people, what single to see, the growth of the justice set everybody free. People of Israel, you heard the prophet say, a virgin mother will bear Emmanuel. She of sick named God with us for brother whose birth restores hope and courage to all the children of earth. Mountains and valleys will have to be prepared. Highways open, the protocols declared, and most fear God is nearing in beauty and in grace. All cleared every gateway in haste, come on out in haste. Oh, come, child of the covenant, to lead us to the heirs of, to the promises made long ago. We will go with you to those who have been forgotten, to lift all those knocked down by life to their feet. O come, salvation servant, to show us the way to the joy of this season. We will go with you to welcome the outsider, and to throw our arms on those whose hearts are broken. O oh, come, lover of the lowly, to fill our hands with the shawls of grace and peace. We will go to wrap them around those who grieve, to place them on the shoulders of those damaged by violence. Amen. Amen.